Hey you guys, and welcome back to Minecraft Tornado Survival Remastered, Season 2, Episode 7, I believe it is. So, now with the uploading of this video, we officially have the same number of episodes in Season 2 as in Season 1. And there's one thing I want to point out to you guys. So, I lowered the storm frequency back down to normal, which is what I had it at originally. Because um, in Season 1, I turned it up to common because we weren't in an area that got a lot of storm activity. So, I wanted to see if turning it up to common would get us a more active storm pattern, which it kind of did, but it still wasn't that active. But now that we're in a more active area, um, and also I was told that with storms on common in the area that I'm in, the storms will become overwhelming, like, as time goes on. And also now that we're in a more active area for storms, I figured turning it down to normal would be fine. But if storms start becoming rare and we start going a bunch of episodes without anything much happening, then I'll consider turning it back up to common. But I'm not going to turn the frequency up above common because that's definitely going to be too much. Unless I'm doing a special challenge, that's the only time that I'll turn the storm frequency above common. Anyways, we have one strengthening storm right now, so we'll see if it becomes anything. Also, you guys, this is the last daily upload. So, after today, uh, I'm starting the once a week upload schedule. So, after this episode, the next episode is not going to come out until next weekend. Probably on Saturday or Sunday. Well, those are the only days that consist of the weekend. Well, actually, I get a three day weekend <laughs> next weekend. Because um, in the United States, some schools observe Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So, my school actually gets that holiday. So, I will... Um, so, I will be off that day, technically, but... Still, I will probably upload on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, I do not see... There was a strengthening windstorm right here, but I do not see it anymore. So... It's just gone. So, what we're going to do this episode is we're going to continue exploring. We're going to continue exploring underground and mining. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I know it's not the most entertaining thing ever, but we do need to mine. It's pretty important for us to be able to progress in the game and do some more exciting projects. Because I do have some projects planned, in addition to the usual projects that I always do, like pretty much every season, like building a weather center and watchtower, and things like that. I do have something else in mind, which is a an underground redstone farm. 
It's gonna be very simple redstone because I'm not very skilled with redstone, but I think it will still be a fun project to do. And of course, eventually we're gonna try to defeat the Ender Dragon. I only really got there in like one or two of my Minecraft Tornado survival seasons. Like, it's very rare for me to get to the Ender Dragon fight, so I do kind of want to change that. Don't want to put torches on ores because I might mine them later. I'm not mining coal ores right now because I think we're good on coal for now, but I'll mine them later if we start running out of coal. Sorry about that, that was just a notification. Now I will check later. I heard a zombie villager. Oh yeah, obviously, because there's a village nearby. I might check on the village at some point to see if it's still alive. I think it's still alive. Okay, I want to plug up this water. Oh, good thing I did, because I almost missed this iron. I eventually want to find redstone as well, because it'll be important. I also need to look up the crafting recipes for um, the Weather 2 Remastered mod. The crafting recipes for, the, for this Weather mod, the Weather 2 Remastered, are harder to find than the localized weather mod crafting recipes. Like the localized weather mod crafting recipes, like when you search for them, you can pretty much find them right away. But with this mod, you can't you can't find them really on the web. I mean, maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough and they are somewhere, but I couldn't really find them. Like I had to I had to use... I did find a YouTube video on the crafting recipes, which I could use, but I prefer to just have a page pulled up and just, like, look at the recipes from there instead of having to scroll through a YouTube video to see where the recipe I need is in the video. So, yeah. I think I already looked over here. I think I got everything that I could get over here. So now we'll explore. We'll check on the weather right now and see if anything interesting is happening. Okay, there's, oh, there's just a weakening thunderstorm. Okay, so, yeah, nothing's really happening, so we can stay down here and continue to explore this place. Oh yeah, there's nothing over here. I forgot the layout of this place, so you might be seeing me wandering to areas that we already checked. After this mining trip, we really need to get ourselves some better weapons. Oh, I see that creeper. Yeah, 
Also at least it's dead. Oh, I see another creeper. Gotcha. You thought. You thought you could explode on me. Oh. Gosh. Yeah, we need, like, better weapons. Now we're getting quite a bit of iron. Like, I saw, like, two veins just now that I'm about to mine. So, we'll go back to the surface, like, a few minutes before it's time to end the episode. And we'll create um, some better weapons and armor so that we're better equipped for the mobs down here. We also need to get some more food as well. Um, let's see. What's over here? I see light over here. Have we looked over here? Oh, was that a naturally spawning torch? I could have sworn we did not look over here. Let's go this way. The blind shaft kind of ends here. I see skeletons. For this episode, I mean, I might explore further that way later, but for this episode, I want to kind of stay in the mine shaft and make sure we're exhausting everything that's in there before we leave. Yeah, this looks like it leaves the mine shaft as well. Or like it's a dead end. We might have explored everywhere. Let me see. We may have explored everywhere. Yeah, I think we already looked down there. The, the mine shaft kind of ends down there. Or we could check out down there, actually. We'll just have to kill those skeletons. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. Nice, I didn't die. That's good. I hear the other one. I did not really mean to kill that bat. <laughs> It was just in the way of me killing that skeleton. Okay, let me get all replenished. I know it seems weird that I'm eating with my hungers and all that low, but I'm trying to make sure that my health is always like at the max. I'm trying to make sure I'm like always at max health, just in case. It's like a mob ambush or something. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just quickly check this area over here and see if there's anything. I wanna make sure there's a good way down. The worst thing is 
being trapped when you're ambushed by a bunch of mobs. Actually, you know what? We can explore down here, like, in a future episode. Like, in the next episode. So I'm gonna waypoint this and call this Caves Past Mine Shaft. These are the Caves Past the Mine Shaft. And we'll explore them more, um, probably next episode. Mm. For right now, I want to go home and start crafting some tools. We need, we really need to make a portable bed. How much food have we got? Is this all the food we have? I s could have sworn we had more. Did I leave some in the furnaces? Okay, well we got more iron, but... I knew we had more food. Is that it? That's all the food we have? Okay, well maybe next episode we need to take a break from mining and like get some more food and get ourselves a portable bed. Because as I said before, I like to have like a bed that stays at home and a portable bed. Because it's just really convenient. Because if a tornado like hits the house while we're gone or something, then we still have a bed. But also we don't have to keep breaking the bed at home and taking it with us everywhere. Which we could do, but I just like having a portable bed and a stay-at-home bed. So there's 32 of these, so that means we'll need five coal to smelt all of them. Did I say there's 32 iron or 34? There's 34 iron. Okay, so as soon as this is smelted, we can make some armor, which will be very helpful. The weather's pretty quiet right now. I mean, that's fine for this episode. It's nice to get a break from the active weather, but... If we go, like, two or three more episodes without anything happening, then I might turn back up the settings. But for now, it's okay that it's quiet. Okay, we have some more bones. So, we could get a dog. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I ever got a dog, like in Minecraft Tornado Survival. I don't think I ever got a dog. Okay, we have iron tools now. So now we need, in order to Okay, we can start making armor right now, actually. So we can make... I'm gonna make a chest plate first. Because that gives the most protection. And then... We'll do leggings next. We'll need seven for leggings. And then we'll do a helmet, but we need more to make the helmet. I'm going to store the stuff I don't need while I'm waiting for that to smelt. So we don't need to bring bones down with us, but they'll be useful eventually. Arrows will be useful eventually as well. Um. 
Yeah, I like keeping some wood with me. Like underground. I guess I could put this away though. I don't want to bring all the wood with me. Um, and the stone tools I'll keep in my inventory so I can exhaust them. Okay, that should be good. So I'll end off the episode um, once I have made all of the armor that I'm going to need. So we have chest plate, leggings, so now we can make a helmet. And then finally, boots. There we go. Now we are all suited up with iron, so that's going to conclude this episode. Mm. Thanks for watching. Hope you still enjoy despite the very quiet weather. Again, I'll give it a couple more episodes, and if nothing else happens, then I will turn back up the settings. But for now, this is a nice break for us to actually be able to do things. But again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you probably next weekend, because that's likely when the next episode will come up. Goodbye for now.